if you yeah. get on Pinterest, it's all over the place. Like, like you can kind of see the foods not, that are in. It's not Jennifer Aniston. No, it's cauliflower, right? It's cauliflower. That's what we're talking about. Yep. Lori, Lori Taylor, the produce mom, is here, and she's Hi. been talking all things florets, but not <laughs> just the florets. We got to get out of that rut, right? I think it is a big. That's right. Big you can do so much salad. with cauliflower, and I'm convinced that's one reason why. Um, you know, it's such a hot food trend. Um, and food trends annually are, they always start um, at food service. So okay. our chefs mm -hmm. are the ones who set the food trends for America and beyond. And it's really awesome. I mean, and food bloggers as well. You know, people who are innovative in the kitchen and have right. the opportunity to serve up their creativity to the general public. Well, right. I think they want to challenge themselves and the industry to, right. to, to blow up the misconceptions or the fact yeah. that it was, people just considered it something not, not stale with the ideas around it being stale. So they challenge yeah. themselves to like, all it's, right, how can I reinvent yeah, this? Yeah, I mean, it's something, I remember eating it with my grandparents. I mean, it's, 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 not, it's nothing new. I mean, it's cauliflower. It's been around it's been for a long time. ever. But um, I, I love that this is the hot new veggie. It, it, it's a food that has like multiple personalities, right? You can do so many different things with yeah. it. And for those that are trying to go low carb, it can kind of take on a new life as crust for things and in yep. casseroles and tell us about some of them. Yeah, so well the first recipe I'm going to demonstrate today, I, I'm calling this the combination of, of the cool kids in the, pro, in the grocery <laughs> store. So we've got your cauliflower here mm -hmm. and then uh, sriracha okay, and coconut oil. Not a whole lot of ingredients no. and it's very simple. But they're all very happening in the last yeah, year. Yeah, that's right. So. Oh, absolutely. Okay, so we are going to use just a classic florette for okay. this recipe. Um, You're kind of making it a finger food, like a snack food almost. Um, I am. I'm going to get to that. You are on it. And then with the coconut oil, you do have to melt coconut oil. So get that so it's liquid. And then your sriracha I mean, obviously, just to taste. And again, <laughs> this is. <laughs> and then kind of give it a couple shakes here. If you want to add some ginger, um, ginger is a nice ingredient from the produce department that complements this dish well. Okay. And then you just, it's so easy. Just layer it on your baking sheet. Okay. Okay. And then into the oven this goes for about mm, probably 30 to 40 minutes at 350 to 400 cool. degrees, depending right. on how hot your oven is. Mm -hmm. That's it. So well, three so ingredients, a good side dish. Three yeah. ingredients. Cool. Now I made this last night mm -hmm. at midnight, <laughs> and this is cold. I would like you guys to try this yeah, cold. Cool. I got no problem. I like it anything cold. Oh, that's good. Isn't that great? Very flavorful. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Very easy. Ooh, zippy. Real smart for me to put Ooh, a huge zippy. chunk in my mouth as I'm on TV, but um, I love it. And one thing that you can do with this, so take your cold sriracha cauliflower, dice it up, and for me, this replaces cheese on my tacos. Or it's, oh, you know, sure. it, huh. you can top okay. it onto, you know, toss it into salads, but think even beyond that. You know, for me, that's... That is awesome. You, go be on the floor. You put that in as your cheese on your taco. You don't need to season the beef or the chicken because you're getting it from <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, that, that the sriracha yeah, from the cauliflower. Well, you you right. certainly can adjust your heat. With no, that. no, I mean, it's I was good. a little that's generous, great. obviously, right. but yeah, yeah. Um, so that's that's one way. Now another thing I love about cauliflower is. Let's get adventurous with it. You mentioned pizza crust. Yes, I that's what I do with it. I yeah. I and they're so delicious. They're so flavorful. They are. You really don't miss it if it's a really well cooked one. You mm -hmm. know, you don't and just kinda like when we made the cauliflower mash at Thanksgiving, the mm -hmm. key is always to get the water out of your yes. steamed cauliflower. Yeah, get you the You can't skip that stuff. No, you cannot. <laughs> and it's time and it's time and it's it does take time. Sure. Time but intensive, but it's are, the essential. results are worth it. Yeah. Yep. So um, any 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 recipe such as a pizza crust or even if you're like me and you just you like a salad with a lot of ingredients but you don't have time to chop a bunch of ingredients sure. up. Take your whole head of cauliflower on your cheese grater and just grate your cauliflower. That is a wonderful This is a cool way. grater, looks, I must say. Yeah. yeah. If we walked in and didn't see all the cauliflower heads sitting around, you might that's just think that's, yeah, mozzarella. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Exactly. So, and then another thing, too, um, I really love just simply cutting your veggies in Long a different ways, right? way. It's like a yeah. steak, cauliflower yeah. steak. 
we tend to just pluck the florets is what we tend to do yep. and that's I think how we get limited in terms of our use. <laughs> so how do we cut it like that? You have your head here that we've graded on and everything but you just uh, you just go down long ways. Yeah. So would and you roast that, or what would you do with the, the that, cauliflower yep. steak? And that actually, in the next segment, okay. well, our recipe will feature these lengthwise fans of mm -hmm. uh, oh, of pretty. cauliflower. And it, it, one thing too that we're gonna that I, you're seeing in the food trends and why cauliflower is becoming such a star. Start of the new year, a lot of people are choosing elimination diets. Sure. Yes. You're setting yourself up for failure. Right. Go ahead and indulge if you really like mac and cheese. <laughs> Find a way to have a cheesy dish, but make incorporate the veggies into it, mm -hmm. and that's that's where you're seeing cauliflower. So our, in our second segment, we'll do a, a comfort food dish, oh, starring sweet. cauliflower okay. cut like this. Nice. I'm yeah. Reach over I feel like we've gotten to know this veggie really well this well, morning. Exactly. You have, and you know, I brought organic because, uh, again, at the start of the new year, you're, you want to get a little bit more adventurous mm -hmm. in the produce department. Yeah. I'll tell you what, cauliflower is a great veggie to uh, to start trying as as an organic. Okay. And uh, the Josie's organic brand is one that yeah. I most and definitely certified, recommend. So you don't have to worry about. I mean, right. It can yeah. be it can be hard to read the label on produce because there isn't yeah. much of a label. But if you know that, right. going with the Josie's organic. Right. That was really good. Yeah. Cool. And cool. Thanks, I, Lori. Better warm. Thank Thanks you guys. Yeah. So you're sticking around. We're gonna I'll do cauliflower here. comfort food. Comfort after food. This. That's there right. You go. <laughs> All right. When